that's now available on the marketplace. If you have a Windows phone, you can try this yourself. It's pretty fun. This is a World War I uh, fighter plane simulation. And once the game launches, I'm going to play the part of the Red Baron flying my triplane over Europe while I'm being attacked by other fighters. So the game's loaded. I'll touch the screen, and here we go. So you can see I am... Let me turn the volume up here. Let's see if we can get some audio. There we go. I am flying my plane around, and today if I were playing this game with Windows Phone 7, if I wanted to make a phone call or send a text, if I navigate away from the game, we essentially put it into a, a deep hibernation, which takes a few seconds to resume. So I'm going to do the same thing now. Let's assume I wanted to make a phone call. I press the start button, I'll navigate around, I'll do my thing, make my phone call, now I want to go back to the game. We have a convenient back button. Today, if I were to do that on Windows Phone 7, for third-party apps, it might take four seconds. For a game, sometimes a little longer, maybe even up to as much as 10 seconds. But with multitasking, the user gets an instant return to the game. So here I go. I'm going to push the back button back. There's our animation. Boom, we're in the game, and it pauses for me so I can press the continue button. Very, very fast, effectively instant. So I'm going to do it again. I'll press start. We navigate away. I can go do something else on the phone. I can run other apps, whatever I want. When I push back to come back to that app, voila, I can press continue, and I'm flying my plane again. So that's the first scenario, making it really, really fast and easy. I should not fly there to come back to apps. Now second, because we have that, it suddenly becomes a lot more interesting for users to have a mechanism to switch between apps they've been running recently. So we're adding a new user interface element later this year, which lets people have a task switching view from their back button. You could press back, back, back to go to apps you've been running, or you can press and hold back, which is what I just did, and we'll present uh, view of all the applications that you've been running recently. So you can see here, we set this phone up before the demo. I ran email, I ran Fruit Ninja, I ran Groupon on the phone. And I want to give you an example now. When you put these things together, I can switch between games incredibly fast. So I'm going to choose Fruit Ninja. I'm live. I'll unpause the game, and here I am killing fruit. So you can see I'll do that. Now let's go back to our Rise of Glory. Press and hold back. Navigate over to Rise of Glory, and now I'm flying my plane. So uh, for those, um, those teenagers with really long attention spans who want to try playing two games at a time, it will now be possible with fast task switching and our new task switching menu. Okay. I have one more multitasking scenario I want to show you, and then I'm going to wrap up this part of the demo. Another really key thing that people have raised as something they'd like to see on Windows Phone 7 that we don't support today is third-party music applications being able to play music as you navigate around the phone. If you use our built-in music application, it works okay, but for third parties, so far, we don't support that. So what I'm going to do is give you a real example of that. I'm going to scroll down here and launch Slacker. Slacker is a free music service that gives me access to a whole bunch of radio stations. So I've launched the Slacker app, and I'm going to touch Today's Hits to start playing a streaming radio station. There we go. And now I'm playing this song, 100 Pianos by July for Kings. Today on Windows Phone 7, with a third-party app, if I navigate away from the app, the music will stop. Not so anymore with this multitasking support. If I press the press and hold the back button, you'll see again the Slacker application moves into the task view. I can pan over and pick another app. In this case, I'll choose my email. So now here I am running email, and the music is still playing uninterrupted, just as a user would expect. If I want to go back to the Slacker app because I want to change to a different radio station or something, I can hit the back button to go right back to where I just came from, and now I can navigate around and do something with Slacker. Um, this scenario keeps working in lots of different interactions. If I press the start button, of course, as you would expect, music continues to run. And we've tried to make sure the user experience stays really simple and predictable for people. So if you want to turn the volume down, the system volume controls work. And right there you can see the track and artist is shown. I can skip forward, I can skip back, or as is appropriate in this demo situation, I can just hit the pause button to stop that music in a way that's very consistent between our built-in experience and third-party apps. So all of these features that I've described will be coming in a free update in 2011 for all Windows Phone 7 users. And before I leave the stage, there's one more thing I want to describe. 